way, in this video, I will show you how to constrain large current load by this H32B Pro relay controller and how to extend your relay life by this H32B Pro controller, the new version. We have designed the new function, the reverse function for this H32B Pro. And at the first, uh, if you want to constrain a large current of the load, we suggest you use this E16SV2 version of the extend relay module. We have designed this new module and this is V2. And here you can see this is E16V2. This is the new version. Okay, let's look at this is E16 bar, this is V1. The V1 use this plastic button. And this time we have updated to the metal switch. And you can see here, I can turn on and turn off uh, by this menu country button. That will be easy and uh, it's a good experience of the turn on and the turn off. And here you can see that every channel have calm and normal open uh, for this terminal. And this time, the new version, we have added the calm and normal open and normal close. So every channel of the relay will have calm, normal open and normal close at the same time. And for example, you can see this is channel 6 of the relay output. You can see uh, this is calm and this is calm. And this is normal open and this normal close. So this calm is connected together. This already is together. So you can use this calm and this normal close and this normal open. And here you can see uh, this two low, two terminal, and this is high and this is low. So that, that will be easy to connect with the one. And this relay is removable. So you can see I can very easy to remove this relay. Look at here, you can see here, the relay is 16 ampere uh, for 220 volt. So this is enough for large power and large current load. That is enough. So when you, if the relay is bad or broken, you can just remove it and install a new relay. It's very easy. Just look like this. Now you can see I can use the mobile phone to turn on relay and turn off relay. And uh, this can connect with the large current. And here we, I have connect with the relay 1 and relay 2. I have connect with this 12 volt. Uh, this is red, is 12 volt. Just a 12 volt connect with these two relays common. And this 2 one is output. The output is to this terminal. And this is for relay 1 and this is for relay 2. So when we press this button, the 12 volt will output and to this terminal and give this relay and the relay will be closed. So that the current will go through this relay and the lamp will be on. And just uh, you can use pump or use big current load that will be turned on. And when I press, this is off and this Apple Home Kit and the Home Assistant and this is Tuya that can work at the same time. And this time is a Voltage becomes zero, so the relay is no voltage, so that will be off. And if the controller is bad or the line is broken, so here we can see the menu control button, so you can also can turn on and turn off. Just give this relay the voltage of 12 volt. So this button just connect by the hardware directly, no software, so that will be no problem. Just physical connect with this relay directly. So that is the final way to constrain this relay on and off. Okay, this is how to extend the large current of the H32B Pro. And the next, I will show you a new innovation of Kinkoni H32B Pro. That is the relay reverse function. We have made a video that how to extend this relay life. So this time I will show you. You can see here, the red one is the leave line that have connected with the 220 volt, that have connected with the COM. And the output, I have used normal open and normal close. Uh, this I have used the normal close. So this relay, if the relay is not working, the coin is no voltage, but also it can let the lamp be on. And this is normal open. The normal open just when you relay have the coin, the voltage, that will be on. The channel 1, I have connected with this normal close. 
And the channel 2, I have connect with the normal open. So if we have turn off relay, the relay will be on. If I turn on this button, the relay will be off. And this is channel 2. The channel 2, I think you can understand easily. Just I can turn on, this relay is on, and turn off, and this relay is off. Just I have used this button on, and also I can turn off, that will be off. So that is uh, normally used. But this time, I tell you a way to extend the relay life, because if this load is always running, is always on, maybe every minute, every day, every month, every year, never stop. So this relay will be become hot, and this relay is always work. But for this load, I think you can use this normal close, so that the relay without the voltage of the coin, but the lamp always can be on. So you can see here, I can turn off. The relay is no voltage. The relay is not work, but the lamp is on. Because for some load, uh, you will let it always, every year, every month, always on. So you can connect with normal clothes. So that will be uh, very useful for the relay and extend the relay life because it's uh, just not working, but the lamp will be on. But this time you can see the lamp is on, but my application icon is off. So it's not understand easily for the people to use. So the H32 B Pro, we can see the web page. You can see here. There is a reverse function. So you can see here. Every channel relay have an independent reverse function setting. If I have used the channel one, that is for normal close. I can click this, enable this for reverse. So I can save. The controller will be restart. Okay, now we can try again. You can see here, I can close. Uh, this is on, you can see the lamp is on. So the state and the state is at the same. It, it's easy for user to understand. I can turn off. I can turn on. But this time I turn on the button, the relay is not work. You can see uh, there is no LED indicate is on. But when I have pressed this button, uh, you can see uh, the LED is on. But the application is also is off, so that will be easy to for the user. So if I can turn on and turn on this two relay, you can see here uh, this two lamp all is on channel one and channel two. But the first relay is is connect with the normal close, so this relay now is no voltage on the coin. But the second one, this is second one, LED is on. It, that is working. So because when the time is very long and the relay, this relay will be the temperature will be high. And this relay the temperature will be very very low because it never works. Let's put the clock. And we can let this two relay work at the same time and this two lamp and uh, running for some minutes. We can test the temperature. Okay, let's test the temperature. Here's relay one and uh, change to relay two. And here you can see the temperature will be high than the normal close relay. Okay, this is the solution of use the normal close and extend your relay. So you can choose because every channel that have normal open and normal close. So which load is used normal close and which load is used normal open, just according to you. You just set in network setting, which reverse of the relay to enable and disable. Okay, thanks for watching.